Hello, everyone. Well, here we are already a full week into November. It's just hard to believe that time is marching on. Now on the heels of All Saints Sunday, a time we remember those loved ones who have gone before us in the faith. As we look toward the rest of this month, a couple of things to keep in mind. We are still collecting uh, cans of cranberry sauce that will go out with the Thanksgiving baskets for Redeemer Crisis Center. Those do need to be brought into the church as soon as possible so that we can get them to them in a timely fashion so that they can go out with those Thanksgiving baskets. Also a reminder that on Sunday, November 20th, we'll have our Harvest Sunday, our in-gathering of non-perishable items that will go to our local food pantry, Lend a Hand, to help people in need as well. Speaking of November 20th, a reminder that following the second service on that day, we will have our annual meeting, our annual congregational meeting will take place. Those annual reports are now available in the Narthex for you to pick up and look over ahead of that meeting. Hope you can be a part of that day. Other events coming up. Uh, the Women's Advent Tea is back. That will happen on the first Tuesday in Advent, which this year is in November, not December. So on Tuesday, November 29th, will be the Advent Tea. There is a sign up in the Message Center out in the narthex of the church uh, for those uh, many hands that are needed to help make that a great event once again. And then that Tuesday, which ha or then that Thursday that follows, actually, on December 1st, will be the men's version, our Advent beer at Pickleworks. More information about that will be forthcoming. Finally this day, I sit here in the pew where one of our members of our community of faith, Patrick McRobert, sat many a Sundays. As if you haven't heard by now, Patrick died on Saturday night, this past Saturday night. As of this recording, we do not have details yet of the service for him. We hope to share that just as soon as possible. Patrick did many, many things of discipleship in this place. He will be sorely missed. He has a, a giant of the face, certainly a saint that we look to and many have learned from over the years and his decades of serving God and serving one another in the community of faith. So we certainly lift up that family, remember Patrick, and again, more details on that service uh, will come just as soon as they are finalized. In the meantime, take care, dear church.